Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. This is question number three of today's contest. Um, we already discussed question number two and question number four will come in after this. In this, it says that minimum deletions to make string. Again, uh, we always, at, after every contest, we have pro problem discussion. So if you want any time, any lead code contest coming in, you can just go and check out. Now, uh, coming on back to the question, it simply says that we are given a string word and also an integer k. Now, my main task is that my word string word it is considered to be k special if the frequency of word i and j again i and j can be any indexes in the entire word the frequency for them should be less than or equal to k then it is called as k special again for any of the i j indices so and here they, they say what the frequency mean the frequency simply mean the occurrence number of occurrences that specific string is occurring to that to return the minimum number of characters i need to delete to make the word case special i can only delete characters and i have to tell minimum characters i what will happen by deletion by deletion my frequency can change and to be more specific by deletion my frequency can decrease so it's highly possible that maybe the frequency of a specific word is let's say 10 the frequency of let's say other word is let's say 2 my limit of k is let's say 6 so right now the difference is 8 i want to bring it down to a difference of 6 i cannot increase i can only decrease so i'll bring this to something let's say i bring it bring from bring my 10 to my 8 again this 10 to 8 is actually bringing the frequency from 10 to 8 which means deleting two characters and thus i can simply say i i did two deletions and thus i brought it down in the limits of k so one thing is very 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 obvious is that i don't i don't know or like the characters inside the word it doesn't matter for me the only thing which matters for me is the frequency of those characters so i know one thing i only require the frequency of those characters inside the string word so great for, for, for me, I only require the frequency and I, I want for all frequency pair are, are in how many frequency pair can be possible? Again, we know we have 26 characters. So distinct frequencies can be 26, right? And thus I want for all those, it should be in line or under the limit of K. So first major, first major task for me was grab the frequency because i have to deal on top of frequencies not these characters so i grab these frequencies my frequency came out to be four to one just understand what i'm showing right now i grab the frequencies okay frequency of a is one b is two c is three d is five frequency i grab the frequency frequency of a is six b is one okay i have grabbed the frequency now comes my main task my main task is to delete something as you can see if i take four two four two difference of four two is actually a two and I want the difference to be under the limit of k. k limit is 0 here. So, difference of any i, j frequencies should be under k. So, now your task will be, Aryan, um, if I have 4, 2, then it's very obvious that I should reduce 4 because, again, I have to bring the 4. 4 minus 2 is actually 2. I have to bring this difference to a 0. So, for sure, if I reduce this, it's of no point. I should actually reduce my 4. So, I'll bring my 4 to a... To, like, to a specific value, let's say 2, and then my difference became a 0. Oh, nice. So, it's very obvious that I, I, you might end up thinking, okay, Aryan, it seems good that you are taking some pairs because you told that you have only 26 into, 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 into these 26 pairs, and then you can just try for, okay, what re reduction, like what reduction I should do so as to bring it to equal to k. Uh -huh, bro, it should be less than or equal to k. So, it should be less than or equal to 0. You will see what this less than equal to actually will impact your answer. But right now, you just reduce this to 2. Because you saw that this AB pair will actually follow this condition. Same for AC pair, you will go and again try. When you try this, so it is 2 minus 1. So, it should be less than equal to 0. But right now, it is 1. So, you will again have to reduce your 2. If you reduce your 2, will this work? I mean, I'm just asking you. Like, you can end up reducing your 2 and end up making it as, as 1. Aryan, if I make my 2, this as 1, then the reduction which I did for AB will actually be impactful. That's the reason. It is confusing. What to reduce, what to not reduce. When to reduce, when to not reduce. So, you can have multiple possibilities. What to reduce, how much to reduce. That's a question for you. So, coming on back. Now, we are in a big dilemma that 
we know that we have to reduce something we know that okay we can reduce something again that's also a question what to reduce but again the other question is how much to reduce but i can easily see from this pattern which is visible to me i need what i need the difference of frequency frequency of i minus again it's a mod frequency of j should be less than or equal to k when again i will think in opposite direction when this can be more when this can be more i can take max max frequencies frequency of 5 frequency of 1 i took max frequencies and i'm just trying to understand what or whom i should reduce so as to get into this range so bro told that bro you have 5 you have 1 again you saw that how i led on to condition that okay i am comparing maximum and minimum frequency because I am comparing maximum frequency, who saw is super max and who saw is super min. If they itself cannot satisfy this condition, then for sure I will have to first reduce them, only then I can move inside. So it, it was a first intuition for me that okay, I will try to check for the extreme frequencies and then we'll try to bring them in line. So here I was at 5, I was at 1. Now again, again, uh, what to reduce, whom to reduce because currently my difference is 5 minus 1, which is 4. I have to bring down my difference to a 2. So, um, one is R in what I can do is, maybe I can try for both the possibilities. One time I can think that, okay, because see, I'll, I'll tell you there are two options. One option is that you eliminate A entirely. But R in, what do you mean by eliminate? If you remembered, the only operation allowed for you is reduction. So, either you can reduce your D or you can reduce your A frequencies so right now i told you okay 5 minus 1 it is equal to 4 you have to bring it down to a frequency of 2 so are in earlier you told right that it is much beneficial to reduce your frequency of 5 so as to reduce this difference but but there's a catch if you reduce this frequency also and <coughs> if it becomes zero which means this is no more required this is no more even compared with so if something frequency reduces to zero, it is never compared with at all. So I can just simply say, okay, five is itself there. That's it. Which means, which means that if I reduce this frequency to zero, so this is no more in picture altogether. It is no more in picture altogether. So we realized that for the ones having high frequency, again, remember coming on back, for the ones having high frequency, I will try to reduce them to what is required. Because if you remember, I wanted to reach for two. So and in an ideal case, I should reduce this 5 to a value of 3. So that 3 minus 1 should become to 2. That's an ideal case when I have to reduce. Reduce my frequency of this i. Or you can say frequency of j minus frequency of i. Because let's say we have j here, we have i here. This is an ideal case when we have to reduce the frequency of j. But if I'm saying reduce the frequency of i, then you have to reduce it entirely. Re re reduce it entirely so that it is gone gone forever so i will reduce it by the frequency of i i will simply reduce it by this specific frequency which means i will reduce it by a value of one and it will become a zero so that it is never even there in picture so you saw one thing that for this to reduce you are reducing this value five by how how many deletions you did you did how many deletions from five you brought it down to a value of three right how many you did deletions you did deletions two but how will you find this Aryan? Simple. You know that you know that you had a frequency of i. You have to reduce, sorry, frequency of j, because this is the frequency of j. You have to get it to the frequency of i. And then you also realized that, bro, this should be less than or equal to k. So I'm saying that it was very high for you. That this was the reduction which you will do for sure. This is the reduction which you will do for sure. But then you have to also bring it down to a limits of k. Then I can simply say minus k. This value actually I will be deleting from me. From me. So as to reach on to the correct value. For example in this case I had a 5. I had a 5. 5 minus 1 minus 2. So I know it will be a reduction of 2 for me. I will reduce a 2. And then I will reach on to a location, which is 3, which is just, just near my failure, right? Or basically just at least my failure. So now I know that uh, how much I have to reduce my, or how many deletions I will be doing for f of i, which is frequency of i itself. 
and for f of j i'll do a uh, do the number of deletions as frequency of j minus frequency of i minus k okay this is what is required but again aryan you had both the options either you can do here deletions or here yeah true i can't i try both yeah that's the reason i will try both once i will do one thing okay once i will say bro let's try to delete here other way say i bro i'll say bro ignore this let's try to delete here then i will just take just ask him anything let's say if i ask him bro try to delete this you saw what's happening you have two options you choose one option and then you will see which will give you the minimum number of deletions so i can simply add the exact same stuff as okay solve you have your i you have your j simple again a return type can be anything because you have to return the minimum number of deletions so very basic case that okay again you know that it is your entire array which is sorted on the basis of frequencies remember that your frequency should be sorted i want the extreme frequencies to handle with so it should be sorted now i have my i i have my j this is sorted frequencies sorted frequencies i will handle my i and j now in that specific i and j i can simply go and ask bro for sure i and j will move what is the base condition when i and j are equal or they have a surpass each other as in every step i am moving either my i or my j so for sure at one point both will be for sure together so if i is equals to j which means i am landing onto my same element or same frequency element i can simply say bro please return a zero no deletions required if i is equal to j or if or if actually again you remember this is a sorted frequency what if the frequency of j minus frequency of i if it is already less than equal to k then bro huh, return a zero because if let's say my array is super big this big but my i is reached here my j is reached here if this difference is itself less than equal to k then for sure even if i move my i i will increase frequency of i will increase if i move my j frequency of j will decrease so for sure if this difference is actually less than equal to k that even if a j moves back i moves forward still the difference will be actually less than equal to k so i can simply say that my ultimate aim mera maksad, my maksad was that it should be less than equal to k and if it is i can simply re return a zero now you can simply see i have two options it's a simple dp which so i will for sure parallelly keep on applying memoization that if dp of ij if it is not equals to minus one return my dp of ij that's a simple thing now now comes the main fact that uh, what you will do simply that you have to find the answer answer is minimum number of deletions what you will do either either again it's a minimum number of deletions you have two options one option was you will delete the left now when you will delete the left you have to you have to completely delete it so the number of deletions when you will do the left deletion will be frequency of i because you have to completely delete it and then you will go and simply go and ask okay bro i have i have completely uh, done for i so try for i plus one and then j will remain as it is or other option was delete from the right from right i know i have to just do that much number of deletions such that my current frequency of j is this my frequency of i is this and then I have to reach to a specific k. So this is the minimum number of deletions I will have to do to reach to a value of k. So I will say I will do number of deletions as frequency of j minus frequency of i minus k will be the number of deletions I will have to do at j so as to reach to a value that okay it is in line with what should be the difference with k. And then when this is done again go and solve for the later part which is i and j minus one. And that's the simple answer for you. Now you will just say, Aryan, it seems like I and J, it seems like O of N square, your DP will go. It is true. It is true. But this O of N square is on the frequency array. This frequency array is nothing but 26 characters. So this is not O of N square. This is O of 26 into 26. That is actually your time capacity of your DP. And this is your actual DP. By this, you can simply solve it. Now, if I go and show you the code, it's pretty simple that in the very beginning, you will have to grab the frequency array itself in the first place. So I will iterate, I will make a frequency array of size, 20, of size 26. I will build this frequency array as it is. Now, when this, when this frequency array is built, my main aim was to sort this frequency array because I want to compare the extremes. I and J should be extremes. So I have to sort it. When this, when this is sorted, simply call the recursive or call the solve function where I is the extreme left index 
J is extreme, right? Next, which is 25. And then frequency array, which is above, I have sorted down. And the K as it, as it is the argument. Now, uh, the simple deep function I have showed you. If I is equal to J or my frequency of J minus frequency of I is less than equal to K, simply return a zero. Else, uh, simple memoization case. And then I just to have two options. Either I remove it from the left. So I have to remove entirely. So frequency of I will be the number of deletions and then go and solve for the later part. Same way, if I remove from the right, then I have some options. Okay, remove it minimal required, which is frequency of J minus frequency of I minus K. And then again, go and solve it. And that's how whatsoever minimum answer you get, simply return that minimum answer. So what's the time of of this? Simply, you will see that this time will take O of n time to iterate on all the elements. This sorting will take O of 26 log 26. This DP will take O of 26 into 26. So my ultimate time complexity will nothing be but O of n plus 26 into 26. That is my time complexity. And again, space, space. Again, this is a time. Space will be O of 26 into 26. Because that's a space. Again, you will say, Aryan, this is also 26 space. But yeah. I can simply say plus 26 also, but that is very less. So I can simply say my complexity, space complexity is of 26 and 26. 